Hello, my name is Simonize and welcome to another Simonize Guide video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly what you see on screen here. Double pulling the general VZAX trash and doing 80,000 or more DPS as a rogue. This is the most fun thing I've done in Ulduar because the rogue is basically the main character of the entire 25 man raid doing more than double the damage of anyone else if they do it right. We'll talk about the rogue themselves and also the entire raid strategy that makes this pull work if you want to try it in your raid. After you rogues absorb this knowledge into your brain, you'll be able to humiliate the supposed big pumper AoE classes like Demo Warlocks with their metamorphosis or Hunters with their trap weaving volley nonsense just like I'm doing here. As usual, let's get right to it. Fundamentally, what's going on here is that Rogue AoE gets better the more enemies you're facing. Like, a lot better. Much, much more better than other classes AoE scales up with increased enemy counts. To get a pull with enough enemies, you're going to need to convince your group to pull two packs of this trash in 25-man Aldwar at once, or all three packs in 10-man, which can be a little bit scary. We'll talk more about how to survive this later. First, let's talk about what the rogue needs to do to make their damage really go crazy on a pull like this. First, the talents. The ideal build for this pull is a 45-21-5 Mutilate Blade Flurry build which goes for focus attacks, full ranks of poison talents, and blade flurry in combat. Luckily, this is a build that has good use in other areas of Aldwar as well, like Kolagarn and Oriaya, so you won't be bringing the spec just for a single trash pull. Between standard combat and standard assassination builds, assassination is definitely preferred for the giant trash pull because focus attacks talent is just too good. The only really important glyph for any of these builds is Fan of Knives, and the other two glyphs are pretty whatever, and you can do what you want with them. Hunger for Blood, Mutilate, Adrenaline Rush, or Tricks of the Trade are all good options. This is a pull where the vast majority of your damage will come from Fan of Knives. We want to swap into some weapons that optimize our Fan of Knives damage output. Our regular weapons just aren't that great here. Regardless of the talent build, that means the crafted Titan Steel Spellblade with Instant Poison and Berserking Enchant Main Hand, and the Fell Striker from Blackrock Spire Dungeon with Deadly Poison and Mongoose Enchant in the offhand. For either of the assassination builds, the Fell Striker is absolutely massive and very important due to the synergy between the guaranteed critical strikes from Fell Striker and gaining energy when you crit from the Focus Attacks talent. For combat, the Fell Striker is technically the best according to the simulations just from the damage bonus of the critical strikes but it's only a little bit better than any normal fast dagger like Combatant's Boot Blade or Blade Twister. If you don't have Fell Striker already, don't sweat it. If you want to go get a Fell Striker yourself, you can easily solo Blackrock Spire Dungeon to kill the boss that drops it, and there's a video showing the run in Blackrock Spire linked in the description of this video, so check that out if you're interested. The Titan Steel Spellblade is actually the best weapon for Fan of Knives damage in the entire expansion. Fan of Knives damage scales up with your attack power based on your weapon speed. A slower weapon means you gain more damage per point of attack power. Fan of Knives also gets a big damage bonus when using dagger weapons, so you can see how the unusually slow Titan Steel Spellblade Dagger is the ideal Fan of Knives weapon. Finally, for your character setup, you want to be sure you have at least two pieces of the Tier 8 armor set to activate the two-piece bonus that makes Deadly Poison give you energy. I figure most people will have this on their gear anyways, but it is worth mentioning so that if you don't have it on your normal gear, you make sure to equip it for this pull. Okay, so you're set up properly with your weapons and talents. The execution of the pull from your point of view is pretty simple. You wait patiently until the call is made to go in. Then you tricks your tank, you press blade flurry, then you press fan of knives. You press fan of knives a lot. Everything else just kind of happens on its own as you mash your fan of knives button. The fan of knives applies deadly poison, the tier eight feeds some energy back from the deadly poison, the Fan of Knives triggers Fell Striker, the Fell Striker makes everything crit, all the crits give you energy from focus attacks, and you end up casting Fan of Knives almost every single global cooldown. Pretty soon, you've got a five stack of Deadly Poison running on every mob, ticking for full damage, and additional Deadly procs are just giving more instant poison triggers, making your damage still crazy even after Blade Flurry fades. Your main trouble is going to be getting feared, because you can't cast Fan of Knives while you're feared. If you're an undead or human race, lucky for you, your racial is completely overpowered here and can be used to remove the fear effect. If you are any other race, 
you're going to need to bribe priests for fear ward or get some quick dispels. I'd wear a PvP trinket as a non-human, non-undead, unless you are 100% confident in your healers dispelling your fears immediately. Honestly, this is a situation where the healers should be prioritizing you. You're doing like 80,000 DPS, and the other classes top out at like 30,000. It isn't even remotely close which DPS character is more important to the success of the pull. But maybe your guild is a little skeptical of making this pull, or you tried it and everyone died, and now they won't try it again. Let's talk about what the raid has to do to make this happen. It all starts with either a mage or a paladin, but not your main tank paladin if that's what you're using. The major paladin will run between the two packs of enemies to aggro both of them and then ice block or divine shield and stand still. The immunity from ice block or divine shield will cause all the enemies to run up and attempt to melee the player instead of standing still casting spells. This is perfect because it groups them all together for some juicy AoE. The most important thing here is that literally no one in the raid can cast a buff, debuff, healing spell, damage ability, self buff, or even get close to the enemies or do anything until all the mobs are in position. If there is anyone else on the mob's threat table, they won't group up nicely like this. Your tank should go slightly ahead and do a countdown when they run in, so that everyone in the raid knows exactly when they can start popping off. With a successful pull, there will still be a lot of damage on the tank and a lot of damage on the raid as well. It can be a bit of a challenge to keep everyone alive if you just try to raw dog it. Anyone who's going to be in melee range, except maybe your tank, should use a free action potion. This makes you immune to both the damage and immobilize components of the enemy Frost Nova ability. Warlocks should each pick one of the fire elemental enemies and banish it. If you let the fire elementals cook, they will indeed cook your entire raid. On pulls where we don't banish the fire elementals, they are by far the number one source of damage dealt to the raid. Usually banish and free action potion are enough to make this pull pretty comfy, but if you need more, you can have people focus interrupts on flame strike and frostbolt volley spells cast by the mobs. You can also have protection warriors use shockwave, fire mages use dragon's breath, or have warlocks summon their infernals for the impact stun. All of these things will further lower the damage the mobs are able to deal to your raid team and increase the chance you have a clean pull. So that's it. Convince your group to double pull these packs on 25 man, equip your spellblade and fell striker, and assume your rightful place as the main character of the entire raid. I'm really close to breaking 100,000 DPS doing this, and if you want to see that live, be sure to tune in on Twitch. Or if you beat me to it, post the clip in my Discord. Links to both Twitch and Discord are in the video description. I hope you have as much fun with this as I do, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching The Simonized Show. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Can't wait for more sweet videos? Links are on screen that you can watch right now. Be sure to join the Discord server and pop by on Twitch to catch me live. Links to both are in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.